Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Meet Miss, day 23 of 2022. And we finally get it, the Lewis gun. Oh, ho, ho. big old proper machine gun. Home support machine gun, Lewis gun. It's got this individual, come on, <laughs> individual size pizza <laughs> magazine in 303 British. Got a folding up bipod, gigantic sights here. Oh, got wibbly bits. And you're like, oh, it looks like it's something out of Star Wars. Well, you'd be right. Oh, so cool. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Oh, let's have some fun. Let's check it out. Let's check out the controls. Here we go with our pizza magazine. Upside down pizza magazine, maybe. All right, our charging handle is on the right side. Charge back, let go, it fires open bolt. There is no safety, so be careful. Yeah, there is no selector switch either. It is fully automatic all the time. Your uh, foregrip area starts in about the heat fin area and it goes about halfway down the barrel. Nice. Down in the trackpad does not eject the magazine. You got to pull it off manually. Whoa, throw it backwards in your face and slap a new one on there and you're ready to go, except that you got to charge that bolt manually each time because it will close on empty. And now you're ready to fire. Oh, and yes, the magazine is animated in a cool way. Let's check out attachments. Let's see. This is not a rail kind of gun. It's not a uh, Russian dovetail mount either because it is English. Uh, let's see here if we've got anything on the barrel. Well, the muzzle brake won't go. The suppressor will not go. The barrel extension will not go. And the rail adapter will not go either. How about a battle spatula? Oh, no battle spatula. Well, that's unfortunate. How about foregrip? No foregrip stock. We already got a stock. It does not fold or anything. Uh, you've also got a bipod here. Clicky clicky on the bipod with the trigger. Uh, you've got a wibbly bit up front and a wibbly bit in the back. But no attachments. Let's take a look at our sights. These iron sights. Well, the front post is gigantic and you can't miss it. Look at that thing. And the rear notch, or excuse me, rear aperture is pretty huge. Uh, can't miss that either. Unfortunately, they do not adjust. So there's nothing going on there. So here's what we got. All right, not too bad. There is a pretty significant distance between the top of that post and the barrel. So you're going to have to aim up just a little bit if you want to really bullseye it. Yeah, see? Yeah, there we go. And it does fire slow enough that you can get off single shots. No problem. Nice. All right, let's do a recoil test. Here we go. There we go. Now that is not adjusting at all. I'm just pulling the trigger and trying to hold it steady. So you can see we got a bunch of nines in the beginning. 7.81 average, so pretty good average, but it's also got a really low rate of fire and you can easily walk this to where you want it to be. 7.81 to beat. Let's see what we can do with the bipod. Dink. Whoa, look at all those tens. A lot of tens and nines. 9.53 average. Bipods are overpowered. Well, there you have it. The Lewis gun. Big magazine, low rate of fire. Pretty cool. Till next time, I will see ya.
Oh, look at it go. That's a good throw.